looks to defend that title she won two years ago in Doha, but she also won in 2013. She's also the European champion for the past two championships in 14 and 16, and the Paralympic champion here in London in 2012 and also in 2016. That's Contra Carter. He's getting some running repairs. Julie Rogers in lane two, represented GB City Volleyball in 2012. Started running in 2013. Gets a big cheer, as you would expect. Nishi of Japan, eighth in 2015. Eighth also in 2016. Also competes in the long jump. There she is. Double Paralympic champion, double world champion, double European champion. Italian flag bearer at the opening ceremony of the 2012 Paris here as well. Belgium's Gita Hannan, who started para athletics in 2015. She was a semi pro Thai boxer before her accident. Scout Bassett, six in this event in 2015 in Doha. Next to her, Katie Magawa of Japan. Lifetime best set this year of 17 seconds exactly. And the second of the Italians, bronze in the Paralympics last year, Monica Graziana from Trafato. And rounding off the athletes, Japan, Japan Saika Murakami made the heats in 2015. There are the two records held by the lady going from lane four. There she is, Martina Caironi, championship record and world record. So Rogers in two, Anishi in three, Caironi in four, Hannon in five, Bassett in six, Magawa in seven. Contrafato in eight, Murakami goes in nine. And Kairani gets away quicker than everybody else here, really jumped out there, but her compatriot on the outside, Contrafato, who's running in late eight, is also doing very well, but it's Martina Kairani, it's going to be an Italian one-two. Kairani goes across the line, 14.66 seconds, Contrafato, who goes across in second, and it looked like Scout Bassett, who got across there in third place to take bronze, the American there. But a one-two, Kairani, she got out very quickly indeed. There is the official time, it's the season best of 14.65 for the Italian who's made it a hat-trick of world championships and Vanessa Lowe. She never really looked like losing, did she, in all fairness, once she got out of the box? Yeah, just outside the world record time. I definitely would have been, wouldn't have been able to beat her this time. Um, I'm really happy that I took the year off in. Uh, really happy for your, for your triple, so congratulations, Martina. Well deserved, very, very good performance. Well, has picked up the silver. Bronze for her last year behind Vanessa Lowe who took the silver, so she'll be happy as well because she's picked up an extra place. But there she is. T42 won the runner in the women's 100 metres. Martina Caroni, there she jumps in lane four. Third from the right-hand side. And straight out to a very handy lead indeed. Monica Graziano Contrafato really put up a good effort. She came home very strongly indeed, and so did Scout Bassett. Made up plenty of ground on the home favourite Julie Rogers and just goes across to Pip Hanan for the bronze medal. Martina Caroni, Vanessa, she's got a very fluid running style. She's very strong, yeah. Um, ever since she came along, she, she's just been dominating the field ever since, so it's going to be really rough to beat her, even in two years or three years' time, so I'm going to give my best. Well, Martina Kaironi, 
She lost out in the long jump. She won Vanessa Lowe at the last World Paras and European Championships, but it seems to be turned around in this race. So we won't begrudge her. What an athlete she is. Three times a world champion. Twice a Paralympic champion. And also twice a European champion. Such speed over that first 30 metres or so to get her into a healthy lead. And then it was really a battle was on. For silver and bronze. The battle was more on for bronze though with Scout Bassett picking up that. Caroni takes gold in a season best, a lifetime 